everybody welcome to epic brew i'm tom today i'm excited to show off throne fall it just released today on steam early access uh the publisher was kind enough to hook me up with a preview copy of the game so i've been playing it for a little bit before it's been publicly available and i gotta say i'm kind of obsessed with this game right now uh like i said it's in early access there's not a lot to it yet it's not a very big game but there's a lot to do with the little that there is and that'll make sense in a moment when I get into how the game works. But I just wanted to direct you to the link in the video description where you can check it out on Steam if you're interested, wishlisted, all that stuff. You know how Steam works. It's a very straightforward and simple game. You control a little king on a horse. And right now there's three different zones here. But this one right here on the left is the tutorial zone. So. Basically, you play it once when you start the game and then you're done with it. This is the uh, second zone. It's called Nordfels. And it's it's got six different... You can see the little flag that I'm standing by. It says two out of six. That means I've completed two out of the six challenges available in Nordfels. And then over here, this one's called Durststein. Durststein. I don't really know how to pronounce that. And I've completed none of the six challenges so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around the Nordfels and kind of explain how the game works because I've beat this section so I know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to hop over here to, to Durst, Durststein and uh, who knows what's going to happen there. But the whole gimmick of the game is you have a little keep, a castle keep, and every night enemies show up and attack it and you have to defend it. Uh, but you get to control when the night happens. So you run around, you collect your gold in the morning, you build any extra structures or recruit more troops, and then when you're ready, you trigger night, enemies show up, you yeah, kill them, live to tell the tale the next day, repeat. That's, that's pretty much the gameplay loop. I'm sure you've probably played similar games elsewhere, but this one is just so simple. And as you can see, you can pick different weapons, you have different perks and then there's difficulty mutators i haven't messed with any of these yet i'll go through them all in a moment but um the locked ones yeah it says keep playing to unlock this perk so even when you lose you collect experience points and as you progress you unlock more weapons more perks more mutators uh to kind of modify what's available and that's what i meant by there's a lot to do with the little that's available in the game. Like there's technically only two levels right now, but each of the two levels has its own like ways you can modify it. There's different layouts. I anticipate just because how simple the levels are designed and you'll see it in a moment here when I hop in this, um, I anticipate we'll see a lot of levels relatively soon in early access. I'm not really worried about it. I still have plenty of stuff to unlock. I'm going to take the long bow out and you just ride around and shoot your bow on the horse. There's a light spear available. I haven't messed with that yet, but for now I'm taking the long bow. All these perks, I'll go through them real quick. Royal Mint, your castle center produces gold and that income increases every time you upgrade it. Arcane Towers, your towers have a much greater range and their projectiles deal significantly more damage to enemies. Heavy Armor, you have very large amount of health but your horse is slightly slower at night. Castle fortifications, your castle center has a lot more health points, fires arrows much faster, and also has a greater attack range. And then uh, ring of resurrection, you are granted one very fast revive every night. So when you die, you can come back to life. There's mutators, challenge the turtle god. Enemies have a lot more health points, but you get 20% more points and XP if you win. Challenge of the Tiger God. Enemies deal a lot more damage, but you get 20% more points and XP if you win. And Challenge of the Snake God. Enemies drop less gold, but you get 20% more points and XP if you win. I'm sure you're picking up on the pattern with the challenge <laughs> mutators. But for now, I'm taking Royal Mint. I'm taking Castle Fortifications. I'm taking the Longbow. We're going into Norfells. So this is the, the play area, right? I'm using the mouse and keyboard, by the way. You don't really use the mouse too much, but WASD runs around. You can hold shift. You can sprint real quick, and then spacebar is your interact button. 
and you can see in the bottom right hand corner down here I have eight gold it takes three gold to build the castle look at that pops right on out and then once you build the castle you'll notice little wooden pegs that pop up and you can run over and see what you can build at each wooden peg so I can build towers a mill there's a house over here which I'm gonna build two gold I get a house and another two gold I get another house so what the houses do is every morning every house standing gets taxed so you get extra gold for as many houses as are standing in the morning when the enemies show up they'll go for the keep they'll go for the houses they'll kind of just like hive mind and go for whatever's closest so the houses in the back are usually safe because uh, they go right for the keep but eventually you'll be able to build houses elsewhere and then you have to kind of be careful so now that's all I can do I got one gold I can't really do much with one gold right now so I'm just gonna trigger night just hold space bar get a little horn toot bad guys show up it's pretty easy at first you can just run around and auto shoots them and space bar is your special attack which is just a powerful sword slash and they'll hurt you if they get close but I'm on a horse and I got a bow, so I'm pretty safe. You see how the gold, you get the gold from the houses every morning. Ain't that nice. So now I have nine gold. And I noticed that there's going to be a bunch of bad guys coming this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a tower here. Three gold. Plop that down. I'm going to run back over here and build some more houses. And then I think I'm going to build the mill. Let's build... I'll build the mill. Hmm. I don't know if I want to build a mill yet. I might just save the gold and upgrade the castle next time. Because then I can upgrade the castle. You get more options for building. You can see they're kind of like faded out right now. Because I don't have the castle upgraded. So I'm going to call in the bad guys. Here we go. Let's take them down real quick. So I'm playing on my PC right now. But I imagine this is going to be real nice to play on the Steam Deck. Pretty easy early on. The buildings uh, heal up. There we go. Look at the gold. I got 13 gold now. I need 7 to upgrade the castle, so I'm going to do that. And now you can kind of pick a little perk. Builders Guild every morning level 1 house is automatically upgraded to a level 2 house if available and 50% HP for the king. That's pretty nice. I usually go with this one. And then uh, Royal Training, 75 HP for your character, 75% attack damage output for your character. I think this one's more useful right now for me. And I have 6 pieces of gold left. So I think what I'm going to do is build the tower right here. One, two, three. I have three left. Oh, I got some like leeches coming through here. Yeah, I'll build this tower here. Why not? Okay, come on, bad guys. So the leeches are just kind of fast. But they go right for the castle, so. You want to keep your eye out on them. Oh, there's a lot of them down here. I'll help this tower out. This tower might go down. I might lose the tower. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. It'll get rebuilt. Let's get the gold over here. Gold back over here. Look at that. Watch this. How convenient. <laughs> so now it looks like I have archers coming in from uh, three different angles here. So I'm going to build... Hmm. I'll build some barracks. When you build barracks, you can choose what kind of weapons your soldiers get. I'm going to go with the flails. Because that's... I found out that that's useful later on in the waves. But for now, uh... They just kind of look cool. So, you hold control. And you can run and you collect your units. And they'll follow you. Now, if you hit and hold control again... You'll position them. And then they'll kind of stay put. When enemies get close, they'll go run after them. So, that's all there is to that. Nothing fancy. 
think I'm just going to upgrade this tower because it's going to be in the line of fire the most. And I got one gold left. And it's nice with that castle upgrade because I don't have to worry about constantly upgrading the houses because each morning they'll pop up to a level 2 and then you'll get more gold from that one. It's calling these bad archers. I'll, uh, I'll screen the ones up here. Or my friends. Did I whiff that? I think I might have whiffed that. That's sword attack. There we go. I didn't whiff that one. They're hurting. Gonna run away. Let my health come back a bit. Let's go, fellas. There we go. Easy peasy. It's just a super chill game like it's this is so up my alley it's ridiculous I, when i said i was obsessed i wasn't being uh <laughs> dramatic about it like i really like this game a lot oh we got 15 i don't know what these things are they're like little rocket torpedoes i don't really i don't really know what they are you'll see in a second they just fly straight for the castle so I'm going to build a wall and then I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to leave them outside the wall here because then these things are going to fly and hit the wall and then my flail boys will just toss them. Might as well upgrade this tower too while we're here. All right. Let me know what you think about these things. They're like rocket spiky balls. But they just go right for the castle. It's so strange. Come on, fellas, get back over here. I missed the attack. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They all died. We're good. Okay, so that third house just got upgraded, so I'm gonna build uh Gonna build another house so that gets upgraded in the morning. And then I have an archery range, which I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build some longbow boys. No, I like the longbow. We got archer, but we got a big army coming through here. Holy smokes. There's nothing else I can build down here. Hmm. Well, we're going to build another tower here. And I'm going to just take the army with me. <laughs> we're going to need to... We're going to need to help this tower out down here. All right, fellas. This is my motivational speech. Try not to die. And I'll see you in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> So far, so good. Going in for the tactical slash. You can kind of get aggro on certain enemies and pull them away from where you want them to go. Come on, flail boys. I don't know why these guys aren't attacking. They're getting shredded though. Ooh, that's a lot of arrows. I gotta be careful. The troops refill after a while, so you don't have to worry about that too much. We did it. Look at all that gold. Let's build another house. I'll build it back over here. Hmm, do I want that tower yet? Oh, I'm going to get a lot of... Uh, it looks like I have a lot of drones coming in from over here. I'll get this tower going. 
and then I'll upgrade this tower. I've got five points left. I'll build a mill. Improved plow. Every future upgrade of this mill will increase its income even more. And then explosive trap. The mill explodes when destroyed, dealing massive damage around itself. The damage and radius increase every time you upgrade the mill. Let's do the explosive trap mill. So when enemies come in, they'll aggro to the mill before other things. So you can kind of use it as a, as a trap. But because all these guys are coming in from this side, they're just going to go straight to this wall right here. So I think this will be safe this round. But Like if I built the mill here, I think that would have been a bad idea. But I think this will be fine over here. But we'll see. Let's get these fellas where they need to be. They need to be over here. These guys will be fine behind the wall because they can just shoot over the wall. And I want you guys out front here. Alright, here come the monsters. The flying eyeball things. Oh, you know what? The flail guys might not even be able to hit them because they're in the air. Yeah. They're getting attacked by him though, but... Yeah, that's pretty easy. Look at all that gold. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got a bunch coming this way. I've got 19. Is that enough to upgrade the castle? Oh, man. You hate to see it. I need 20. I need 20 and I got 19. Okay, so we got a whole army coming this way. We got a bunch of nasties coming this way. I can't upgrade that tower yet. That stinks. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna get more boys. More troops. Okay, these guys are gonna be the vanguard up here. It's gonna be a big field fight. Actually, I'm gonna position them in front of the mill, I think. Because the bad guys are gonna go for the mill. So you fellas stay there. And I'm gonna need... The extra ranged guys. You guys are coming over here. I thought about leaving them outside. But I want them behind the wall just in case. Okay, I think I'm good. This seems like a good strategy. I have three. Gold. I'm going to build... Uh, Build a house so I get that upgrade in the morning. Then I have one gold in my pocket. I can get some candy in the morning, I guess. I don't know. All right, here we go. <laughs> I missed. I whipped. Okay, let's. Okay, we got all these guys down here. I think they have a hand. Oh, they're going for the. They're going for. Oh, they're going for me. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I, <laughs> I fat fingered it. Oops. I think we got it. We got more coming in though. The red dots mean there's reinforce. Oh no. So previously I've noticed that whenever there's a red dotted line, that means there's more coming in, but that wasn't the case there. Okay, we got a full push coming in here. We got some quick boys coming in there. Here. So this icon means they're like big, like troll knights. That's a little worrisome. Because those guys are tough to kill and these things are fast. I think I'm going to take all my archers back behind the walls. And just kind of keep them here. Ooh, I can upgrade my keep. I'm going to do that. That's a lot of gold. 75 HP for the character. 75 attack damage output. Or units move faster when you command them. You have a healing aura that heals 
allied units nearby, 30% overall damage output. I'm going with the 75 attack damage output. That'll help me a lot with the big trolls. So I'll keep my archers behind the wall. The flail guys. Hmm. I'll just kind of keep them out front here. Do I have enough to upgrade the tower? I don't. Oh man, I need... I need 15 to upgrade the tower, but I can upgrade this tower because I only need five for that. So hopefully that'll be helpful to kind of control these twos coming in right here. I'll hang down here to help this tower with the trolls. And these will get screened by this. I'll probably lose this mill, but I think these two towers can handle this wave. That seems like a good plan, yeah? Let's find out. Yeah, see the big boys coming in? They, they're hefty. There's a lot of them. It's gonna be a fight. Ooh, I like that play. Look at them go. They're spinning. They're spinning. We got a fresh one here. I'm going to take a peek how everything else is going. Everything else is going all right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. This looks like a huge wave is coming in from the northeast. We got 30 soldiers and a big troll guy. Another 30 and a big troll guy, and then another 30 and a big troll guy. Okay. Okay, so we're going to build another tower here. We're going to upgrade it, and then we're going to max this one out. Hot oil. Ballista? I might take the ballista. I haven't tried the ballista out yet. Surprisingly, I know. This tower has an increased range. It shoots very powerful projectiles at a low rate of fire. Focuses siege engines and other large enemies. I think this is... I'll go for this one. We'll see how this goes. Oh, and I can build a little wall too. It's kind of a useless wall. I would need to connect it with like this one. <laughs> Alright, I got six... Hmm. Should I get more infantry? Let's get more infantry out front here. I'll go with some knights. They'll need their shields. We'll put them out front here. I have two. I'll build another house. Because I forgot to yesterday. This can be my vacation home way back in here. <laughs> okay, so let's get these flail guys. Let's get them up here. They're going to hold this canyon. That's the plan here. This tower. I'll help this tower out against this wave. And then this wave down here will have this tower, the ballista, and then these fresh knights to go. And I think because the spawn band... You know what? I'm going to grab these archers. Let's grab these archers here. Put the archers down behind this tower here. That should be enough for this. Me being here should be enough for this. And I can kind of run up here real quick to help these guys out if I need to. I think this will be fine. Famous last words. Check down here, that looks alright. How we doing up here? That looks a little. I'll help these guys out for a bit. Oh, they're going for the mill. He's gonna blow it up. He almost blew it up. I'd like to save the mill if I could. Just to get the extra gold. Okay, so the, the fresh knights. They went down. The mill's gonna blow up here. Yeah. 
That wasn't as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. I'm probably going to lose this tower. The archers held. The flail boys held. Ooh, I clutched it. I saved the tower. <laughs> okay. That worked out pretty well. And then now I have... Is that five or three? Oh my god. I think that's a five. I'm going to have 50 archers. There's going to be 50 archers and 30 little quick torpedo things. Okay. Okay. What are we going to do here? We're going to upgrade this tower for sure. I'm going to make it tanky. Because it's going to need to take a lot of range. A lot of ranged hits. I'm gonna upgrade, get more boys out here in the field. I'm gonna keep them back. Man, are these things... I don't know if these little quick guys are gonna go for the tower. Also, I like how they huddle around me and they dance. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm trying to figure out if these guys go straight for the tower or for the castle. Hmm. I'll just I'll leave the knights here they can do whatever they want let's get these archers down here though I'm gonna put them behind the tower here as well and the flail guys I'm gonna kind of keep them back here and then I'll pull them in because I don't want the archers to aggro to my melee units like I want the archers to get close enough where I can drag my melee units in on them you know what I'm saying I got five gold what can I do with five gold I can build a tower right here <laughs> all right here we go Okay, let's get some of these knights coming in here. Let's go, fellas. It's your time. Ooh, let's get the... I need my flail, guys. Let's go, guys. Up to the gate. Up to the gate. I should have kept them up here. I think we'll be all right, though. Yeah, we're, we're all right. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. There we go. Oh, I heard the ballista go off too. Okay. Uh-oh. So I only have five of the little leech things coming in, which is the calm before the storm. So I'm going to upgrade my castle towers. I'm going to make them strong. I'm going to upgrade the walls too. The walls are strong. And... I only have nine gold left. I'll upgrade this tower. Okay. And then four gold? What should I build with four gold? Why not? <laughs> okay, this is the freebie. So this won't be crazy at all. It kind of gives you like a free night. Oh, jeez. Those things hurt. <laughs> I didn't realize how much they actually hurt. Yeah, see, so the freebie night, you get to, it's like a free day's worth of gold because this is the last wave. 
and look at all that stuff coming in. I got 20, 10, 10 catapults, 2 catapults, 30, 10, 10, 5 catapults, 30, 20, 15, 9 catapults, 7 troll knights, 5 of the little killer leeches I just found out. Quick little torpedo boys, more torpedo boys. I'm taking my archers, taking them behind the wall here. You fellas are staying here. So with the catapults, they wreck your towers real quick. So what I've kind of taken to doing is uh, I'm going to leave my those guys there. And then these guys can just hang out here. Actually, no, I have enough towers here. I need more firepower for this guy over here. Um, you can just kind of run up behind the bad guys and just pick off the catapults. And that's kind of what I do. Okay, I still have 26 gold, so... Is there any more tower? I can upgrade this tower. Let's upgrade that tower. Iron plates. And then I have 11 points. I don't know if I should build a third tower. What's that? Three. Yeah, let's let's kind of square this little wall zone off here. And there we go. And that'll slow them down a bit. So I'll put my archers there, and they can deal with the the runners. I'm going to stick down here the most, I think, to deal with this. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I see there's the... Oh, the ballista just sniped that catapult. That was great. Oh, no. You guys need to... No, 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 no. I need you guys up here. Oh, these towers are going down quick, huh? Yeah, see the red line? Oh, maybe that just gets... Yeah, maybe that's because I was close to it. That might have been why. Okay, you guys. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, see how fast the catapults took the tower down? I got the, those deadly little leeches. Look at all those arrows. You love to see it. That ballista is taken out. That is like an anti catapult tower now. I'm glad I upgraded that. Yeah, we're doing alright here. Alright, up here. Take down these catapults real quick. Oh man, they pushed through my... They're pushing through my barracks. This isn't good. This is not good. Okay, I think, I think we'll be alright. I think we did it. Please tell me that's it. Oh, we got another. We got more. All right, crew. Here we go. I whipped it. I'm going to focus these catapults and hope my boys can hold the line up there. Let's get these uh, archers. Well, you know what? Let's take down these catapults first. The same looking good. Go down. Oh, 
<laughs> Tell me that's it. That's the end, right? Hey, look at that. Look at that. Victory. Let's check out everything I got. Level 10. I got pumpkins. Pumpkin fields. Fields give more income and have more health points, but are also more expensive. Carrots? Oh, it's a... <laughs> it's a dagger. I thought it was a carrot. Assassin training. You permanently unlock a new upgrade path for your level 2 castle center, which significantly increases your attack damage and reduces your special attack cooldown when picked. I got a lot of XP points. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't get my high score. Look at that. One point short of 7,000. I was robbed the last round. I didn't do so hot this time. But I blame that on me sitting here talking the whole time too. But there you go. I said I was going to do two rounds. But that lasted a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So what I'll do is I'll play another round uh, in the new zone in the next video. So keep an eye out for that. There's more more how coming of course. But I have been saying I wanted to branch out to other medieval games. And this game is just, I can't wait to play more of it, simply put. So link in the video description at the Steam store page. If you don't plan on buying it now, wishlist it and follow it so you can keep up track of the updates and kind of watch the game grow and then monitor the development progress so that you can kind of see when it's at a point where you want to pull the trigger and grab it for yourself. Or you can just keep watching the channel. I plan on covering this game as long as there's still content to cover for it because i'm hooked i am hooked on this game thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy i'll catch y'all next time